Lisburn Distillery return to action this Saturday, that's Saturday the 8th of February, with a home game in the fourth round of this season's Intermediate Cup competition against St James's Swifts. Kickoff in this game is at 1.30pm with an admission £5 and £3 for concessions. Issue 9 of the White's Match Day programme will also be in sale at the game, price £2. Lisburn Distillery wish winger Michael O'Hanlon a speedy recovery following his suffering a triple hairline fracture during last Saturday's game at Limavady United. Get well soon, Mick. Stocks are now limited on our 140th anniversary mug, so anyone wishing to purchase one of these special commemorative items should get one as soon as possible. The mugs are priced at £10, are currently on sale in the club shop. The club are hosting a night of the races on Saturday the 22nd of February, with the first race at 5.15pm. Horse sponsorship at £5 per horse, and race sponsorship at £50 is still available, a low sell fast. So if you want to show your support for the club by providing sponsorship, speak to ICRAG as soon as possible. The club have produced a special one-off celebratory share certificate to celebrate reaching our 140th year milestone. David Hunter has more information. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm here to talk to you about the club's commemorative share certificate to mark the 140th year of Distillery Football Club. Shares have been available for a number of years, but this year we have produced this special certificate to mark a special anniversary and it certainly is because if you cast your mind back 10 years ago this club was almost down and out when massive debts came to light. Those came completely out of the blue and were devastating as far as the ordinary supporter was concerned. Thankfully we survived, we came through it but at a terrible cost. Our ground was sold and there were more blows and other implications behind the scenes. As I wrote in our last Match Day programme article, the world of football is about money and inevitably those clubs that have more win more and can spend more than those that don't have money. That's the reality of the modern world. There are many clubs simply working hard to maintain a status quo. Even at this level of football, it has been a tough year for the club. We are not alone in the sense that several other Premier Intermediate League sides have gone weeks without home games, but when you have non-negotiable bills to pay, whether or not a ball is kicked, then that adds real pressure. Any help in that regard is most welcome, and the 12th man scheme is another option for supporters to consider. But the story is moving on towards that November anniversary. And one of the most famous names, not only in the history of the Irish League, but also on the island of Ireland, we want to be here in the years ahead too. Looking at the share certificate, the strap line says it all. 140 years of football, history and pioneering. On the front of the share certificate, we have listed just a few of the first pioneered by the club. As well as being a founding member of the Irish Football Association, we have contributed much to the development of the game here and off the park in Northern Ireland. I have always maintained that if we were to go out across Northern Ireland and ask anyone who has a connection and affinity or an association with distillery to put up their hands, and we would be surprised by the number of hands raised. I referred earlier to my recent programme article, and in it I used terminology such as supporter, fan or follower. Our social media platforms tells us a few things in that context. For example, on Facebook we have 3,197 likes, 3,256 people follow us, and on Twitter we have 4,912 followers. Now, whilst we will have an event and a project lined up ahead of next season for those who are unable to attend games, we would encourage as many people as possible to take this opportunity to purchase shares in this great club. We have already had purchases from the mainland and from Europe. As an ordinary supporter, I hope that you will be able to become a part owner and help us as we start a new decade and a new chapter in this great club's history. You can find out more information about how to apply for shares, the cost of shares, etc. by checking out our social media and our website. Thank you very much for your time. 
It was a busy end to the January transfer window for the Whites, with no less than five new signings, Sean Green, Sean Gallagher, Neil Dillon, Jack Clark and James Begley joining the club. Welcome to the story, guys. <laughs> 